dissecting the rabbit, me and my partner Kubrick. First, you must always wear gloves, like so. Make sure they fit your hands correctly. Always wear your scientific aprons here. And always wear goggles. And close toed shoes and pull your hair back. So, as you can see, we have opened up the rabbit. We first pin the legs apart. The rabbit is lying on his back. As you see here, we took our cutting utensils and we cut vertically up towards the head. And now we have opened this cavity where the skin is. And so we are going to take our pins we are going to pin the skin apart so we can really get in there and locate everything. First, we shall be discussing the digestive system of the rabbit. Our journey begins when food is consumed through the mouth and chewed by the incisors. It is then goes through the esophagus to the stomach. In the stomach, it is digested before being processed through the small intestine. The two major glands that secrete into the small intestine is the liver here and the pancreas. The small intestine, if to be laid out, would be ten, ten times the length of the rabbit. The contents of the stomach are gradually injected from here into the small intestine. From the small intestine, we then travel to the large intestine, which is made up of the cecum and the colon. The cecum is very large. It uh, separates large and small fiber particles, and then from the colon, after it is fully digested, it will then exit the anus. <laughs> 